Hey, what's up guys? Mike here, back with another informative video, and today we're going to take a tour of Android 7.0, otherwise known as Nougat. Now this is definitely a sweet-ass release of Android, probably one of the best so far in my personal opinion. Let's go ahead and dive into it. One of the features that I like the most with this version is the new status bar. So at the very top here, we have five quick setting toggles to choose from, but if you don't like these, for the first time ever on a firmware stock experience, we can slide down here with this super dope animation. I could do this like all day, but yeah. If you slide down, we actually have an edit mode feature here on stock firmware. So if you tap on that, we can actually reposition our tiles by long pressing here. So we can just slide them into any position we want. If we make any mistakes, we have this really cool menu feature up here at the top to reset it back to a factory standard. To add tiles, we have additional tiles that we can unlock, drag them up in here. So we have a data saver, we have some hot spots, we have some really nice stuff. And if we actually apply it more, we get a paginated system. So you'll have roughly nine on your front display here. And if you swipe over, just like on a Cyanogen mod type ROM, we have additional quick setting toggles that we can use and choose from. Now on top of that, we do have some expandable notifications now with the 7.0. So if you'll see here, I can use my two finger swipe down to get my advanced features, or there is a top hitter that you can tap up here at the top. So you see that little arrow at there, you can tap on that and get into an advanced option. Now I don't personally like that. I like to use the double finger as there's less complications, you don't accidentally tap into the actual information. But it is nice that we can go in here and we can get additional information. So if I had multiple emails on multiple accounts, I can swipe down. If I get multiple notifications through my texting apps, I can actually slide down as well. And then I can actually do quick replies within the notification tray. So I can just do a test here. We'll go ahead and do myself. So we'll just do another test. We'll put a little new emoticon in there. And then this will actually go and notify me with a heads up notification and it will dive it right back down into my Hangout. So I can actually slide back down and I can either reply to myself or reply to my crew. You can go even into further advancements. So I can hit watch later on YouTube videos or I can go into advanced options. You can also see that you can enable specific priority mode. So if I want to long press hold here, we can go into a priority mode setting. So I can hit show notifications silently, block all notifications and so forth. Now you can do that by long pressing or you can swipe over from the right or the left and dive into those settings. Quick recents or quick app switching is now a part of the new Android Nougat. So for example, if I select two specific applications and I want to go back and forth between the two, I just double tap my overview or recents button and I can quickly go between my tasks. Multitasking has made its way into Android 7. So if you go into a specific application that supports it, you can long press and hold your recents button or you can actually drag it up to the main display. So for example, if I go and select a specific application, long pressing, I can drag it up to to the top and then I can select another application and go from there. I can also reorient the positioning with the bar in the middle so you can actually go into different display modes or if you swipe all the way up it will disable or if you swipe down it will disable the actual multitasking or you can long press hold on the recents button. So for instance if I go into this application and I long press hold it will actually let me swap from there. So there's a couple different ways that you can enable the multitasking. Now while I like the multitasking then it is kind of beneficial in some situations on a smartphone. I I definitely don't find it as practical as it would be on a tablet. Another feature that finally made its way back to stock Android here is the clear all recent. So at the very top, you will in fact see a clear all option now. Diving into your settings panel here, we get a breakdown or a little summary of each specific display option or settings. So for instance, if I scroll down to my display, it informs me that my adaptive brightness is off. If I go down to sound, it's letting me know that the ringer volume is in fact at 0%. So I get a nice little breakdown or a summary of a specific setting panel before diving into that panel. Furthermore, between that, if you actually go into a specific category, you can swipe over from the side here and you get another subsetting menu. So you can actually dive into a specific setting point from there. So it's nice that I don't have to go back and find that application over and over. So for instance, if I go to storage, I have to hit back and go to notifications. Now I can just swipe right over and dive straight into that setting. A really great feature with the Android Nougat is the display features here. So we actually have a built-in DPI and font size selector finally. So if you go into display size, for example, you can make this extremely large. So people with bad eyesight can actually get a little bit more ease on the eyes through this. Or if you like it to be extremely small, for example, you can go and make it more like a tablet style size. And then if the font is still too small in that particular setting, you can actually adjust it and make it a little bit larger or even smaller if you want to get into that customization. 
Now when you get the new version of Android 7.0 and you want to enable that LED backlight, it will actually be in your notification cogwheel now. So if you go into notifications and settings, you tap that, you'll actually see your pulse notification light from in this new feature setting. So be aware of that. Now if you long press on your settings cogwheel here, you will get into a system UI tuner mode. It will be unlocked. And from here you will normally get a status bar, do not disturb, and other menu. Now I will leave a zip file in the description down below that you can flash with a TWRP or custom recovery or you can sideload, which will enable your navigation bar and color and appearance. So in color and appearance, you can actually enable that night mode toggle, which I discussed earlier. So if you swipe down here and you have your night mode toggle enabled, this will make it less harsh on the eyes and specific calibration modes, you will even be able to go into a calibration mode. So you can actually calibrate your display through your color and appearance system tuner. In addition to that, you will have a navigation bar here that is baked in and you can actually customize your navigation bar in real time. So if I go in here and for instance, drag my overview button up to your center, I can actually change that with my back button if I wanted to. So a la a Samsung experience, I can go ahead and swap these two together. And there you go, that's actually done in real time. So I can choose to use that in that manner. And you can even go even further by adding a specific button. So if I wanted to add a clipboard, for example, this is something or a tool that can be used to actually paste information. So if I go into a specific application, let's just say I want to copy this actual text here, and I go up here to one of my replies, I can actually go in here, hit reply, and then drag it straight from this clipboard right into there, and there you go. Anyway guys, that pretty much sums up my impressions of the new Android Nougat. Now there are a ton of features that I didn't really go over, but you know, I'll save those for another day in some future videos, like the Daydream VR options that are coming in the new Nexus devices, the Vulkan API that's gonna be a little bit better for gaming, you know, things that will be more important later on once the newer devices come out and it's actually available for specific games and applications. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely leave me some feedback what you think about Android 7.0 in its current state in the comment section down below. And if you are interested interested in flashing this on your Nexus devices, I'll leave all of the information in the description down below. Feel free to hit that like button, hit subscribe to the channel to show your support, and as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video.